Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? As you can probably see, today I've got a few Wicked related things in front of me. So really, only watch this video if you're interested in Wicked or musical theatre in general. But basically, if you're a fan of Wicked, you'd know that Wicked brings out snow globes every year pretty much. And they've been doing that since it opened first in 2006 in London. And yeah, basically they sell a snow globe at Wicked for about a year or two at most. And then after all the snow globes sell out, that's it, they're not gonna go into production anymore. And then they bring out a new one of a new scene from Wicked. And then they sell that for a while, and then again after that finishes, that completely is done as well. As a big Wicked fan, I've been collecting this snow globe since 2007. And I thought I'd show you them today because a lot of you guys seem to be interested. I know a lot of people watching my channel are Wicked fans and theatre fans, so hopefully you'll enjoy this video. So far, of all the Wicked snow globes that have ever come out, the only one I don't have is the popular one, unfortunately. Which is really sad because popular is actually one of my favourite scenes in the whole show. And I remember seeing the popular snow globe the first time I saw Wicked in 2007, but because it was my first time, I didn't get it because I just wanted to buy a t-shirt and a program instead. And then they went out of production and you can't find them anywhere now. Like literally they're just like, not even on eBay. You can't find them on eBay, they're just gone. But anyway, I'm going to show these to you one by one, play the music because each of them plays like a different song from the show as well which is so cute. And yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so we'll start with the first one that I ever got and this is a Defying Gravity snow glove. I'm not sure how well you can see it. Um, I got this, I think, in either 2008 or 9, maybe. Um, yeah, the, this one and the popular one were both sold at the same time for a long time, but then I think the popular one um, got sold out, and then this one was sold for maybe a year longer than the popular one, I don't know. But it was the first one that I got. I think I got it for my 20th birthday or something. And um, let me just do this. Oh, it plays, um, it plays the fine gravity, obviously. So let's just, uh, come on, music. Just do it for The next one I got is this For Good one, which uh, so far has proved to be one of the most popular ones. Um, you can't really find this one anywhere anymore. Um, they sold it for about a year, I think back in 2010. Um, you probably might be able to find it on eBay or something, but yeah. Uh, this one I think was proved to be quite popular because of the design of it. Obviously For Good as well is one of the most famous songs from the show. But it's just so cute. And this one has Elphaba and Glinda. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see them. But it's some, um, this is the back of it as well. They're just so detailed as well. The dresses, everything. Linda's bubble dress, um, Alphabo's dress. It, it, just, it looks so cool. So nicely done. And you've got the monkeys there. It's just, it's done really, really well. I think I really like the design for this one. And it's just very, very cute. So this one, of course, plays for good. So I'm going to show you that in a second. Let me just put the snow globe on as well. With the snow, let's do it. Come on, snow globe. Go on. Okay guys, so the next one is this one, which is from One Short Day. Um, Glinda's wearing her yellow dress, as you can see. Alpha's wearing her hat. Um, I, this, again, it's a really cool one. I like the design of it um, on the bottom with all the um, Oz people and the clowns on the back. Look at this. Again, One Short Day is probably one of my favourite scenes. It's just always fun. Uh, quite short, but a very, you know, very good fun every single time. Uh, you know, it never really fails to make me smile, basically. So. Yeah, um, let me just quickly show you the whole thing. The back again, the detail on it is absolutely amazing. Oh, they're even wearing their um, glasses. I don't know if you can tell or not, but they're wearing their green glasses that they wear in that scene um, when they go see that show. But um, yeah, I love it. The detail on it is amazing and it plays one short day. 
So let's put the music on. And the snow. going to show you is probably my favorite in this whole series and it's the dancing through life one now in case you didn't know dancing through life is my favorite scene and my favorite song in the whole show i just absolutely love it it just always makes me happy it, oh, it's just amazing the music in it is amazing and the whole scene just always makes me emotional but um yeah this is this dancing through life i mean you could argue that fiera should be in there but no, it's all about Alpha and Glinda, really, the show, and I think I actually prefer that. So it's obviously when they first... Oh, this is actually one of my favourite scenes, favourite moments in the whole show, when Glinda and Alphaba first kind of start to talk to each other and actually realise that they could potentially be friends, and Glinda gives Alphaba a chance, and it's just so cute. This one's, again, one of those kind of bigger ones, because it's got this on the back, um, this Wicked logo, um, and you can see the clock here as well behind it so um some of the snow globes don't actually have anything behind them as you might have seen before um but this one for instance i mean i think in fact i think this is actually the only one um this the for good one had something on top of it but this one's the only one that has something in the background which i think is really really cool and it says wicked in the back as you can see glinda and alpha bar looking at each other it's just it's the moment of truth basically alpha's looking all nervous but glinda's like being all nice to her and they, they, they're about to do that dance that awkward dance and uh, yeah, this is like a dancing through life scene, um, all the kind of cool buildings and stuff that Fiora loves to go to um, for the ball. And it plays dancing through life, which uh, I listen to this quite a lot before I go to sleep and it just helps me relax. Because it's such a nice melodic, I just love dancing through life like I said. It, but it's nice to like, listen to it in this form, like not without the lyrics or anything. So let's play that for you guys and see what you think. So the next one is this one, which is also one of my favourites. This is the What Is This Feeling scene, which happens to be also one of my favourite scenes from the actual show. I just love it, and also one of my favourite songs. Um, as you can see, Glinda's wearing her uh, school dress, um, and Alpha's wearing her school dress as well. It's when they kind of first get told that they have to become a roommates and stuff, and they sing that song, and it's just so fun. Um, the detail, again, on the bottom of this is absolutely amazing. Like. You've got the letter, both the letters that um, Glinda and Alphaba write to their dads uh, and mums, <laughs> their parents. I don't know why I just say dads, but um, yeah, so there's a Glinda's and yeah, there's actually lyrics on here. Like if I can show you a zoomed in version, you'll see that there's lyrics on here and you can see their whole letter on here. And um, you see some of the students here looking all disgusted by Alphaba. And it's some of the, you know, movements that they do in the actual show, doing that dance, which I absolutely love. And this is Glinda's letter. I mean, sorry, Alphaba's letter. <laughs> yeah, this is Alphaba's letter and it's written in green, obviously. Uh, I just think it's amazing the detail and I love it. It's definitely one of my favourites, I think. Second favourite, I think I'd say after um, uh, Dancing Through Life. But um, yeah, of course, this one plays What Is This Feeling from the show. So let's play that. Ooh. this is my newest addition to my collection this is the wizard and i 
um, snow globe which uh, has actually only came out I think last year and they still sell this uh, in the theatre and I believe online as well so this is the most recent one uh, if you do want this buy it before it stops being sold because I don't know it, it's probably going to get, get stopped soon as far as I know and they're going to have a new one soon which is exciting but again Wizard and I believe it or not is my favourite Elphaber song a lot of people say oh no good deed or like Defying Gravity and I absolutely love those as well but if I had to choose my favourite um, Elphaber song it has got to be the wisdom eye. It's just so fun. I love the melody. I just love it. It's always very happy and cute, and I, I enjoy singing it the most when I'm just singing for fun at home. So as you can see, this one's got Alphabet looking all happy and um, uh, hopeful about meeting the wizard. Uh, you can see the head here, the Oz head here, um, and yeah, the detail on it isn't necessarily the best. It's just kind of some buildings, but you can see the balloon, <laughs> the balloon. Uh, you know what that, what that means if you've seen the show, but. Yeah, this one plays The Wizard and I, so let's play this for you. So that's it guys, these are all my Wicked Snow Globes. Like I said, the only one missing from this series and from this collection is the popular one, unfortunately, which I'm still looking for. So if you happen to know somebody who has a popular snow globe from Wicked the Musical and who doesn't want it anymore and who's willing to sell it, please let me know, or if you happen to have one and want to sell it, again, let me know. I'd absolutely love to add that to my collection, just because I love Glinda and I love that scene, so it would be amazing to have it, and I'm just so sad that I missed out on that particular one. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Every single one of these were actually bought for me by my parents for my birthday or like Christmas presents and stuff so it just works out really well because they come out like once a year or once every two years it's just like whenever I've got like a special occasion like my birthday or Christmas or something my mom just knows that I would want one of these so she like asks me something like oh is there a new one out and I'm like yeah yeah can you please would you mind getting it and she gets it for me and it's just like a really cute thing so thank you to my mom and dad for getting these for me over the years like it's been an ongoing thing, it's been about five, six years, I'd say, seven years even, since I first started collecting these. And because they come out once a year, it just works out really well. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which one was your favourite of the six snow globes that you saw. Again, like I said before, my favourite would probably be the Dancing Through Life one, which is here, closely followed by What Is This Feeling? But I love every single one of them, I love them all. And every night I play a different one to sleep. And when I want to relax as well, I sometimes just kind of put, the, put it on and just listen to it for a while and it just makes me happy because it's wicked music and I love the music and it's just nice to hear it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if, um, you know, you're not interested in wicked or music or theatre, but more normal vlogs will resume soon. Um, I do have to say a thank you to my mum as well because the most recent one that I got was this one. The, um, the the latest one, basically, the Wizard and I one, which only came out like last year, and you can still buy it. And it was my birthday yesterday, and my mum got this for me, so thank you, mum. But um, yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye!